fires between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And the all three of the red, blue robots pass the habitation line. 69.80, one, that's Clockwork Soldiers, makes it off the line in time. So both alliances scoring big during the sandstorm. Red has a slight advantage, 17.15. 68.84 in the corner for blue, trying to pick up a hatch panel. In the meantime, their alliance partner, 76.63, adding cargo to the blue cargo ship and scoring. 16.78, trying to place hatch panels on the red rocket, but they're being defended by 67.11, really trying to slow down the red alliance at doing a pretty decent job of it. All you can really do is slow them down, but that's very effective. 76.63, adding cargo to the blue. So blue with a slight lead now, 27, 20, oh, red just took over, 28 for red. Very close match with just over a minute left. 1678 adding cargo to the cargo ship. And 7663, teeter tottering around and oh my gosh, 6981. Tangling with 6711. And it looks like 6981 got the worst of that. Their robot is not functioning right now. Maybe it'll reboot and wake up. Six, 1678 grabbing some cargo. 4135 for the Red Alliance. Trying to put a hatch panel on the front of the cargo ship. Let's see if they're able to do so. No, it falls to the floor. We've got 30 seconds left. Red going out to a lead now. 50 to 33. We're into the end game. 1678 lining up in front of their platform. The Citrus Circuits, they climb very fast and efficiently. There's no drama with their climb. 1678 able to do so. And 4135 climbing on to, up to the level two platform. That'll score six points for their alliance. All three blue robots on the level one platform as time expires. That scores nine points for the blue alliance. To victory. 61 points to 42 for blue. They pick up three ranking points because they successfully docked with a score of 15 or higher. So that gives them an extra ranking point.